today we're going to be looking at setting up an .r profile. And what a .r profile does is when you open up R, I'll open mine up. You can make it do certain things like load packages or talk to, say all sorts of things there. So here it tells me my daughter's birthday and says hi to me and makes me feel special. And it's loaded some some packages as well. Um, see that ggplot is already loaded dev tools and some other custom things okay and here's how it works what you do is basically find the place that R starts up and you stick in there a text file called dot R profile and R will source that on startup but you got to find out where R starts up um, I'm going to assume you're using R studio what you can do is go into our studio, go to tools, options, and then default working directory. That's the directory that R will start up in when you use um, our studio. So you find that location. Let's pretend that it's our home in this case. And what you're going to want to do is put a text file in there. And then you will rename that text file dot R profile on Windows it's a little tougher you have to first rename it to our profile and you have to put a period at the beginning and end okay now you have a uh, our profile inside of that then you can make a dot first function okay and that dot first function let's look at my actual profile the R profile that dot first function is just like any other function um, in R and inside of those brackets you can tell R to do these things on startup okay and to set up for reports you'll want to um, grab the various options that you can set for reports and you place them in there save it and then the next time you load R from that working directory um, that dot R profile will load the dot first function and all of those commands will be sourced 